Welcome back to Sound 101. Today's episode is probably the most important thing you guys are ever gonna learn on this YouTube channel, and that is gain staging. Or should I say, why your audio shouldn't sound garbly crumbly. So let's get started. I'm Andrew from Daddy Microphones. Today we're gonna to go over the most critical thing and that is gain staging. Now I've got a lot of devices here on this table, all of which are in a gain stage to each other and we're gonna set them all up. Now the number one important thing to remember with gain staging is you start at the source, work your way down the signal chain till you hit record. If you're not getting a good signal or just getting signal at all, you should always start at the source, work your way downstream. So the source in this case is actually this microphone right here. I've got it going over to our sound mixing board and then the sound mixing board into the actual Zoom H5. But for the purposes of this demonstration, we're gonna add a little bit more complexity. We're gonna actually add a body pack transmitter. So this body pack transmitter has got a lot of different things in it. And you're gonna want a body pack transmitter that allows you to adjust gain sensitivity. So if we go to the very top, it actually says right here, mic level, and it says zero dB. You measure sensitivity on a dB scale, and you can go up and down and set it to whatever you need to be. Now, on a good transmitter, you're actually gonna get levels. It's gonna indicate whether or not you're at zero dB, negative 12 dB, negative 20 dB, somewhere in that range. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit there and talk into your microphone until you can see that kind of a scale. And if you wanna ever check, a lot of them just go back to your home and just talk right into that microphone. And you can see right there, we're actually getting some pretty good, decent bouncing audio. We're actually set up pretty good. I believe for this particular transmitter, it's a plus 15 dB. Some, it actually needs to be in minus 12, minus 18, depending on what brand you've purchased. You want this to be kissing right at the top before peak. So that's how you set up a transmitter. Now, the next in the signal chain from a transmitter is the receiver. That's how you officially check a lavalier. But you can see when I do that, you actually get a bouncing view meter. And for this, it's important to know whether or not your receiver is line or mic. Why is that important? Well, it's very simple. Line level signals are one volt. Mic level signals are significantly less than one volt. And they need an amplifier circuit to boost the signal. And that's what we're doing here. So here at the receiver, this is actually gonna be a mic level signal and we're gonna leave it at zero dB. For some units out there, they're line level signals and you need to drop them down to like a negative 24 dB, negative 30 dB to make it a mic signal. Now, if you look at a mixing board like this, it's very easy to get confused. You see a lot of knobs and you think uh, it's a little overwhelming. But for the most part, there are the exact same knobs replicated across the whole board. What you need to do first, before you do anything else with any knob, set your fader to the zero position. That's gonna let Unity go right through into my master signal. Now as I adjust my trim knob, I'm actually going to sit there and dial in my trim and watch my VU meters to see where it hits zero dB. And I'm just kissing that zero dB on my VU meters. That's how I know I've set my trim knob at the proper level. When I'm done, reduce that back down because no one's currently talking. If someone was about to be talking and I can anticipate it, you just move that fader back up to zero dB. Unity. We're actually going over into this H5. We're coming out of, what is this, the monitor send. Now monitor send is a line level signal. The H5, it likes mic level signals. So we kind of had to keep that in mind when we actually dialed in our settings over here. Now during this whole process, the system has gone mic level, the transmission, from mic level out into a board to line level, line level into our recorder. By the time we get to the recorder, you should barely have to add any gain, because again, a line level signal is a full one volt signal. You are either gradually adding a little bit of gain or you're taking gain away called attenuation. And you've done your heavy lifting here, sometimes here, but most of your heavy lifting in the signal chain starts at the beginning. That way, when you start with really good audio, right from your transmitter, you end up with really good audio coming out of your receiver into a board, sounding really good, mixing it properly with other sources, coming out and then back into a recorder at the proper levels. Now this mixer and this recorder may be integrated into one piece like an F8 or a Mix Pre or like a six series sound devices recorder. But at the end of the day, this is the principles of everything that we do in the world of audio and gain staging. It doesn't matter what system you have, as long as you have quality parts in the chain, 
you'll have really good audio on your next production. If you really like this lesson, keep watching our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. That way you get video updates every single time we post. I'm Andrew from Daily Microphones. Thank you for watching.